Hello, everybody. It's over, and I have news. Um, probably not like, you know. Oh man, my things are all messy. Uh, not like world-altering news, but the Direwolf 20 pa mod pack got updated at 1.5. Uh, and I know that someone like Direwolf doesn't want to play his own mod pack until he gets to 1.6, but I am an impatient bastard and I want to play his mod pack. I, I kind of... I, I know there's a couple other mod packs that got that got released. Uh, this was really the one that, I, after looking at them, this is the one that really intrigued me the most. I think it has the most going for it. Uh, usually I would have sided with something like the ulti the old Ultimate mod pack, which I thought was far better than Direwolves. Um, but this one is just it's interesting. Um, it's got a whole shit ton of mods. I guess, you know, since we're here. Um, you can read through them. I mean, you, you sure already know what they are, but it's it's got a lot. Um, I think it's got like the second most. Um, it's got the important ones, which are cool. It's also got some of the more more interesting ones that I that I really like. Uh, for example, it is got do, 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 not that one, not that one. Logistics pipes. Um, this is one that I've never played with, but everyone tells me is amazing. So I'm kind of excited about um, soul shards. Yeah, you know the usual. Uh, nothing, nothing entirely like groundbreakingly new here. Uh, the other one that I'm really excited about is Thalamic Think Tinker. Thalamic Tinker, um, because it just looks great. I was thinking about maybe doing something like I did before and using my beta world, but I found that to just, it was just a hassle. Like it, it didn't turn out like I wanted to, and it gave me a good, good wait time to practice, sort of getting back on camera, but I think a, a good old-fashioned starting from the beginning might might be in order for this one. I don't like starting from the beginning, though, so what we might do is I'm going to do some things, uh, cut some trees, punch some wood, do the do the usual, um, and then I'll be back. Uh, this is this is the first world that I created. My, my first idea was to go seed hunting, but this is the first one, and I actually kind of like it. Um, I got some snow, which I really like, and I got some... I don't know. I got stuff. Um, but I really like this area. I got pumpkins and cows, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy right here. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to do some running around and some punching trees, because I'm already talking far beyond what this, the, the time of the day is going to allow me. Um, and, ooh, see, and there's all these new stuff. The source of, the source of all string and wool. That's cool. Might be able to make a bed, sir. I think I just crashed my game. Oh, I didn't. Haha. -ha. Hey, look at that. That's nifty. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a base real quick, and I will be right back. See you in a bit. All right, dudes. I was like two pieces of wood in when I saw this. It's a chicken wearing a Luigi hat. Um, that's that looks silly. So I guess animals wear hats. I'm gonna try I think I can get the hat. Yeah. So I got the hat. C. C. No. Hmm. Okay. So I like got a lot of feathers. Mm. Oh, uh -huh. well, that was that. I just wanted to show you that. I think I saw, like, yeah, there's another one. Uh, I have to figure out what, what is that? You are a silly chicken. You are a silly chicken. Oh, uh, hat unlocked. All right, well, I'm going to figure out exactly how to wear hats in a bit, but, um, yeah, I'll be back again. Alright dudes, I'm back. As you can see, I've made my first little shack. Uh, like always, just chilling in the dirt. I did go out to some house. Um, I got myself some leather, so I think I'm going to make myself some leather armor real quick now that I think about it. Because I'm going to go and... That's fun, but like, I feel like one of these days I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to grab more than I need or something. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I think I think some mod is adding like more leather to to the cows because I, I honestly only killed like a couple of them. I didn't kill that many. But the reason I, I made myself some leather armor is because I found this little ravine like really really close by, and there's a lot of neat stuff down there. Mostly, I think there's some iron over there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna jump down here and then see what happens. Hopefully not die. First things first, I do need the iron. Oh good, there's quartz. 
is going to be good for applied energistics, which, which is a lot of fun. You can do a lot of really great stuff with that. I know that I, well, a friend of mine was, he got all excited about, about the fact that logistics spikes were his back. He's always sort of like ranted about how awesome they are. I've never, I've never really played with them, so I've never really sort of had a, I don't know, I'm not a fanboy of them, I suppose is the best way to put it. Like, I guess it's cool. Um, however, I am a fan of Applied Energistics, which I feel like it does the same thing, and, and maybe I'm wrong, and someone should correct me if I'm, if I'm blatantly, blatantly wrong, and, and they don't actually, you know, they're entirely different or something. Um, I know my friend showed me, like, how you can craft things, and sort of have this whole system that will automatically craft things, craft things to you, but Applied Energistics does the same thing. I don't know. Alright guys, I've made it to the bottom of this ravine, hoping to find some goodies, and I, I have. I found a decent amount of shards and some iron, some good tin, so I, I've, I've been doing pretty good down here. Right now, my plan is to sort of keep going down lower. I want to get down to gold level. Um, I want to find some gold and some redstone, because one of the first items that I almost always make is a pulverizer. Um, it's really easy to make, um, and so I, so I really, I, I think that's where I'm going to start. Um, I have thought about maybe starting with a macerator, because I don't have grag tech anymore, so that recipe isn't particularly hard, and I really would only just need some, some redstone, I think I have everything else. So there's a good chance I might start there, but uh, I'm not sure. I really don't, like, macerators are, 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 are okay. Um, this early on, there's really no difference between macerators and pulverizers. The difference comes in later when you can uh, put like overclockers on macerators, and then they're all a whole lot faster. The bright side of starting with a with a pulverizer right now is that it automatically uh, ex uh, feeds out or outputs. That's a and it will automatically output into an inventory, so I can really automate it. I can really just stick a hopper on top of it and, and make it feed into a, uh, which we'll call it, uh, a chest. And that's pretty much it. It's really easy. And so I really like using pulverizers for that early game. I don't have to worry about buildcraft pipes pulling things out and where they pull things from and redstone engines. It all sort of happens on its own. So I'm a big fan of that. Sorry about the music. I'm still working on that. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be my that's gonna be my, my plan right now is to make it down to a gold level. Uh, I'm pretty high up, so it'll probably be a little bit. I'm gonna do some digging, and once I find some gold or find eh, maybe not even find it, but once I find something interesting, I'll uh, be back and I'll show you what I've done. All right, I'll see you guys. Soon. All right, so I said I would come back when something interesting happened, and then I got attacked by blue slimes. Um, guys freak me out. Like, I've never been a... What the hell? Oh god, oh god. Oh, oh, you're big. Oh, you're big. Why are you so big? Why are you so big? Why are you doing this to me, slime? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, I have too much. There we go. Yay. Sorry about that. Ha. Huh. Ooh, no rain. So, so I, I don't know where these guys are from, or what, uh, what mod brings these guys into the world, but they are hilarious. And terrifying at the same time. So yeah, that was that was the only interesting thing. It all happened like as soon as I l said bye last time. It was like, oh look, there's some slimes like across from me. So okay, back to digging. <laughs> oh right, guys, I'm back, and unfortunately, uh, my video recording software decided to sort of stop working and. I recorded a bunch of things, I found a witch hunt, and I went caving, and none of it got recorded, so I'm sad now. But, the things that I did do is, I, I did sort of set more of a, of a house over here. As you can tell, I sort of, I have it started. Uh, this is just a mock-up, I promise it, it'll look better as, as I do it. Um, and, um, the plan of it is sort of this let's see if I can if I can show it to you. Um, 
if you can imagine this sort of being the first floor, is to have this building that sort of switches signs, kind of like this, um, and just keeps going up. And so each each floor would sort of have something different in it, and, and at the end you'd have this fairly tall building. I don't think I'll make it more than three. Um, that looks like this, with, with sort of things here and things on the inside, and a basement. Um, uh, this little circle thing will eventually, it's just decorative. I don't venture to be made out of obsidian. Um, I have myself my little loft again, which I, I was a big fan of before. I did, did enjoy having a loft. I can look down on things. Um, and then down here I started my basement. Um, the reason I, I sort of, I started doing this, um, is I needed, I really needed to start, a needed to have a way to work and I hate building in cobblestone and I promise this will all get switched over to something much much better but um, a lot of this is going to be glass I think I like to sort of build uh, in, a, in a more modern style and, I, and glass is kind of a big thing the problem is while I could just sit here and smelt sand I don't like the texture of glass I don't like that those. Uh, I'm gonna waste like a single piece of plastic. I don't like that I can't see to it, and, and that I, but you know, you can. But you know, you have these these like four pixels in the way. It's slightly annoying. Usually, I would use glass viewers from uh, what's his name, Cy Soren Cycraft, but we don't have Cycraft right now, and it's really sad. Instead, I'm opting to do. I know that. Tinker's Construct has glass, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna make it. And like I said, I had a recording issue, so I took this all apart just so I could rebuild it. So the thing that I built is a smeltery. Um, I have all the pieces that I'm gonna need right here, ready for me. Uh, a smeltery is. Let's see if I can find it. When you first start off, you get you get this book, which you probably have seen before. It's the materials in you. And in here, there's a little section at the very end about sear bricks. Once you make your first sear brick, you actually get the, this other book called Mighty Smelting. And this will actually give you sort of the instructions on how to build it. And I already, I already know how to build it. This isn't the first time I built it before. But I can show you pretty much the, the, the pieces that you need. Um, the ones that you definitely need are these nine bricks here um, for a base. You definitely need those and I think they definitely have to be uh, seared bricks. I don't think you can do anything else. From here everything's a lot looser. Um, you want to build up from here. As you can see I'm not actually building up in the middle. You want this 3x3 three three open. But you built up from there and the way I'm gonna build it up is I'm gonna I'm gonna build just like that and then here Let's see, I know I need a smeltery control and a sear tank. And this is pretty much that's that this is done. This actually now works. Um as you can see I can actually smell things. Um there's fire coming out. It works. There, there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with it as it is. However, it's kind of stupid. And it doesn't like it doesn't really accomplish anything. The next thing that you need is the smeltery drain. I'm gonna place that there. And of course, you can't have a drain without a faucet. Uh, no, why would you do that to me, Mr. Faucet? Why? Okay. Uh, let's see. Faucet goes there. There. Oh, I'm in the way. I see. I see how it is. It's already turning night. Ooh, does this mean I get to? Yeah. I'm gonna. If you give me a second, I'm gonna try to make it day because I know I know how dark these these videos are and get and while I can see perfectly fine you probably won't be able to as you can tell I, I did I did cheat myself in a pickaxe because I had to take that damn thing apart but I got rid of it um, and that thing takes forever to take apart with a stone pickaxe but I did this is one of the things I did want to show like the other stuff is sad that I that I lost, but the the making of this I think is fun. 
Um, so the next one that I need is this, uh, I don't actually know what you're called. It's a table of some sort. Um, and I'm not, I'm not showing you how to make this because I, I did casting table. I did show how you make it. But the other thing is it's, it's in here. Like, it's all, all the recipes are in here. This is how you make the grout. Um, you make grout, you stick it in a furnace, get sear bricks, four sear bricks, you get, you get the bricks. Eight of those, gate controller, drain, tanks, viewers, windows, faucets, it's all right here. Basins, I'm not going to make a basin yet, I'm just going to add the table, and that's that's pretty much it for now, that I need. And there, there's more stuff in there. Um, the next thing I want is there, and there, and then I have three glass. And the glass I'm going to put right there, so I can see it. Now... Uh, the taller you make this, the more things you can smelt and like the more things fit in there. As you can tell, this hasn't changed size. This is still the 3x3, three three, which is right there. Um, I want to make that taller, so I'm actually going to need some more seared bricks. And uh, I think I need six. I think that's it. Um, the extra ones I'll either keep to just use seared brick as a building material. I think it looks great. So as you can tell, it's still 9x9. Nine nine. And I added, and now look at that. I I doubled. So there's my first nine, or three by three, and there's my second three by three. So eighteen things can now fit in there. And then you can actually make these taller. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this for now. I think it's a good starting point. So that's pretty much it. That's how you get to do. That's how you get your smeltery. The reason I'm making the smeltery is because you can't use your little crafting tables anymore to make the metal tools. Like I genuinely need this now. Um, and actually since I'm here I think I brought some. Yeah. The first thing is that I need to make is um, casts. Now casts um, for this uh, da -da -da, there it is. For the stencils you just you can use wood and they're pretty they're pretty easy to make. They're not they're nothing too complicated. You take some sticks Bum, 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 bum. You get some plank, some blank patterns. Stick in the stencil table. You find the pattern that you want. Pickaxe. I already know some of the patterns that I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely use. So I'm just gonna go for them. All right, and that's it. And from here, I could, I could even make some of these stone tools. But I don't. I don't need stone tools. I need good old fashioned tool tools. These don't work with metals, which is sad. I wish I had a metal to show you, but they don't work with metals. I now have to do something different. So to do what I need to do, um, pretty much you need a combination of three aluminum, one copper. And as you can tell, that ain't working me out. That is my bad because I wasn't paying attention. I am going to. I need to go. I am terrible at like building usable ladders. There we go. I'm gonna go. I need lava, and thankfully there's a big like lava pit nearby. So I'm not I'm gonna grab one, two, three. And lava is how you end up sort of feeling this and it, it doesn't actually use up like a whole lot of lava it's not this it's not like I'm gonna need a pump to the nether just to fuel it it's it's pretty pretty easy on the, on the lava consumption but I will need just a little bit mm. so I'm gonna grab one bucket for now head back here and get the smelting started this first combination I'll, I'm gonna get it started and then I'll show you in the book all of, all of these things that I'm saying are the book or in these these books, the mighty smelting and the materials in you. Like I'm not finding this anywhere else. Okay, there it is. Okay, and now you can see the tiny little bar is going up. So that's going to start smelting. How much fuel I have left, and this will show me later on. You can even this is, this is one of the cool parts. You can see it in there, like starting to work. It's really cool. But uh, like I said, all this stuff's right in here. Uh, how to build it. The, the building instructions are actually pretty comprehensive and there's a little picture so it's not very hard to build. All the things, how to make how to make the uh, irons. Um, so I think 
it works. There it is, grout and all that stuff. So how to make everything's pretty much in here. This is gonna be kind of cool because I get to make like these materials are gonna be really cool for building. This is what I wanted. So clear glass. I need molten glass. So I'm gonna and and that basin. So I might actually have to make that basin. Oh look at that! I think it's done. Yeah, I got four ingots worth of aluminum brass. So in order to actually make these molds, unlike here, I actually have to put down a shape so that there is a binding, yeah, stone binding. And then I'm gonna put pour the, the aluminum around it and that gets me the cast. That's it. It's kind of it's actually really cool. It is, this is one I'm I'm really enjoying this mod just because of how interactive it is. Like it's not it's not just it doesn't just do it for you. You have to do it yourself. All these sort of little details of like casting the mold is is it's really nice. I've I've been I've been enjoying the little bit of playing with it I've done. I'm, I think there's a whole lot more that I can learn about it, but for now I'm I'm really liking it. The next one I'm gonna want is and here are all the everything sort of tells you these things. I'm sort of flipping through them real quick because I know what I'm looking for most of the time. That's an it. Tough tool rod. No, I just need a regular tool rod. Tool rod, tool rod, that's a fletching. That's an arrowhead. Tool rod. And then I need to make a tool rod. And you can actually make the tool rod out of a couple of different things. It doesn't have to be stone. I'm just using stone because I have cobblestone in my inventory. Um, but there we go. So now, as you can see, I have the three parts needed. Um, nope, right, nope, right there. The three parts needed for a pickaxe, which would be a pickaxe head cast, a tool rod, sorry, a tool rod, a pickaxe, and a binding. So I have what's needed for for my first set of tools. Um, I do, on the other hand, have just a little, one ingot's worth, so I have another shape I can do. Hmm, what should I make? Um, you know what doesn't require a shovel? I think only requires, if I remember right, a shovel just requires the tool rod and the and the shovel head, like it doesn't actually require a binding, so that should only be the one ingot. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So now, um, we can smelt some other things. Uh, I don't want copper, I don't want more of this. I want to make my first set of iron tools. So I'm gonna get melting some things, and once all that stuff's melted, I'll be, I'll be back to, to sort of show you next step. Okay? BRB. All right, so I'm back already. Um, I like I said, I needed some things to melt in here. Now I can melt both the gravel as you saw earlier. I, I melted the copper gravel and the aluminum ore. This is the actual ore ore. Um, I think I think like if I remember right, and I could be wrong, like uh, pulverizing it and then smelting it. I think this actually doubles it automatically. So I don't think you have to do any of that like pulverizing and melting it, or sorry, pulverizing and then smelting it process. It'll just do it for you. So that's going to cook up, and then while that cooks up, I'm trying to think if I can make make another one of these chests, these pattern chests. Uh, I think I need a chest a blank pattern on top of it. Yeah, I got a pattern chest. The reason I want this is um, these pattern chests just sort of take up a lot of room. Or sorry, these patterns take up a lot of room. Casts and patterns, so I don't really want to carry them around. Um, how close are we? Okay, we're close. And red, see the red liquid? That's that's our iron. And two ingots I got four ingots so you saw I only put two one of each and then I got four ingots at the end um, what we can do now is we can take our, our cast and we can actually cast some of these things so I'm gonna make one tool binding and I'm not I'm not paying attention to sort of what tool what 
a lot of the details in this because I just sort of want to make a tool real quick to show you. There's a lot of, there's sort of a lot of, how would you say it? Um, there are a lot of nuances to, to this mod. It's, oh, I got a new one. There's definitely a lot of nuance to this mod. It's not quite as straightforward as I'm sort of using it. There's a lot more to it. Is there still like an ingot left or something? Ooh, there's one chunk left. So that means I could probably make another tool. I'll just make another tool rod. Why not? There we go. Three tool rods. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of nuance to this, but I'm not bothering to sort of follow it because I don't know. I don't I don't have a lot of the cooler. I almost fell into that. I don't have a lot of the cooler materials that sort of add to it. And there's a lot of how would you say? There's a lot of ways to play around with this. There's a lot of materials you can use, and there's a lot of modifications you can make. But at the end of the day, that's all. That's all stuff that'll come later. Like a lot of the materials, I just, I just plain old don't have right now, and so I can't, I can't make a lot of the really cool stuff. So I'm just making the simple stuff. So all I gotta do is go here, find the pieces I need. Like I guess I'm just making a, a plain old, plain old iron pickaxe. It's got reinforced one, and that comes from the iron rod. Um, it'll tell you its durability, its mining speed, its mining levels, and modifier remaining. This is kind of cool, and this is, you can't enchant these, so this is kind of like the enchant of it. And I'll show you more of that as I actually make a cool, a cool one. And when I do actually make a cool tool. This, these are just sort of, eh, tools, but they'll get me through. The neat things about these tools is they actually never break. So I can I will use this and that doesn't mean it won't it won't take damage. So it will take damage and you can see there are uses to it. If I if I put it back in here, it'll tell me how many uses I have left. But I can actually repair it right in here, sort of like you would repair a regular tool in an in an anvil, but it doesn't cost you levels, it's free. Um, Part of the reasons why I'm choosing to sort of do this right off the bat is to use these tools instead of just making them out of out of ingots. Um, this tool here cost me two ingots. Um, I'll have to repair it, but I think at the end I'll, I'll end up paying about the same. All right, so but I, I think for now, considering how when it's really late into, I, I kind of messed up the recording. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye for now. I'm gonna work a lot of this stuff out. Uh, between episodes maybe make this look a little pretty and I will see you